Hey, what's up guys? It's Blaze, and today I'm going to be showing you the 5 easiest ways to get XP in Minecraft. This is going to be in 1.7, and first off, we're going to start with fishing. Now, fishing has been buffed in 1.7, if you guys haven't known that. And they've added 2 or 3 new fish, actually. I think that there's a clownfish, a pufferfish, and salmon. Now, the pufferfish you can't eat is poisonous, but I believe you can feed it to your animals, so that's good. But... What else you're going to get is actually some, you can get some trash as you guys can see. I've got a tripwire hook, I also got bones in this episode, and also you can get other things like name tags and saddles, things you can't really find anywhere but dungeons, so that's a good place to find them. You could also get enchantment books and enchanted items like bows and fishing rods, which is really cool. I like the new enchantment books that they've added, like Luck of the Sea and Lure, which will help you your chances in getting things while you're fishing so once you guys get 1.7 it'll come out in a week or two definitely in October is what Mojang said um, if you guys already have this and you're in the future definitely try checking fishing out is really good now on to the next one and this is this is furnaces I mean this has been around since 1.3 everyone knows it but I just wanted to let you guys know that it's been nerfed it's still a good way to get XP it's very convenient since, you know, everyone smelts, everyone wants to get some something smelted. There's a lot of things smelted in this game. And it's just a good way to get XP when you're smelting your things. So, just throw a bunch of cobble, a bunch of iron, everything you have in there, and then you'll get some decent XP. Now into the next one. And this is Enderman farming. This is a little bit harder because you have to get to the end. And, well, not necessarily, but this is how to do an efficient farm, and that's in the end. I'll show a video on this, or put a link in the description. I'm definitely going to do a video on this, but I'll just put the link in the description for Panda. Um, by the way, Panda is a really good Minecrafter. He, he's really good at a lot of things, like building spawners and things like that. So I'll show you his video, his tutorial on how to make this. And it works really well. You can get a lot of XP. I found that in about 5 or 10 minutes, you can get level 30. Now the next thing which is blazes. Number 2. This is a really really good way to XP. Get XP each time you kill a blaze you get 8 XP which is more than any other mob in Minecraft except for, I don't know, the ender dragon which is another good way to go to the end. I believe he drops 80 orbs so the ender dragon is, I guess you could say the mob that drops the most orbs but you know, blaze is still the mostly the best way to get XP. So if you just find a blaze spawner, they're very common in nether fortresses. Once you find one, you could just make a little enclosure like this so that they won't fly out and so that you can't get hurt. And then I'd recommend drinking a fire resistance potion and then just go away. You can get your blaze rods, get your potions going. Everything works fine with blazes. It's a lot of fun. That's mostly why I changed my name to Blaze. I like Blaze a lot, and that actually is my middle name, if you guys didn't know that. So, yeah, it's Italian. So, just a cool little fun fact. And here I'm just going to chant, showing you guys that I can chant through all this stuff. It actually does work. Alright, so on to the next thing. Number one, getting Nether Quartz. Now, Nether Quartz is very, very abundant in the Nether. is almost as abundant as, I don't know, Soul Sand. So you can find it everywhere, you're barely ever going to run out. And since it came out in 1.5, it has been so, so good for getting XP. I'm really going to recommend this to you guys because, as you guys can see, I've just mined only two veins and I already have three XP. I started with nothing. And it's all over the place. You can probably get, I was um, going through this recording, see how much time it took me. And in about 10 minutes, I got level 30. And... Here, I skipped ahead, I'm at 26 levels, and I'm about to get 30 levels here. So, yeah, these are the best ways. Again, they were fishing, with fishing rods. You could also put the new enchantments, Lure and Luck of the Sea on, and try out those new loot and new fish you can get. Furnaces, which is pretty old, but, you know, it's still really convenient and works a lot. So that's why I edit in my top five. Enderman farm, which I'll put the link in the description to. It's a really fun thing to do. It takes a lot of resources, but it really works and it's a really cool outcome. Blazes, the blaze f spawners are really abundant in the nether, like I just said with the nether quartz. And 
these two ways and the nether are really the easiest ways to get XP. So I'm gonna leave you guys with an enchantment. A really nice enchantment I got here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you'll use these in when Minecraft 1.7 comes out. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Blaze out.